Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878. And today, uh, as you may have guessed from the title and the discount-ass Sherpa Rage-themed chroma you're looking at uh, right now, we are going to be talking about the brand new Chroma Deluxe skin collection. Really quick, though, speaking of Sherpa Rage, if you don't know who he is, He's a fellow Warframe partner and Twitch streamer. He is the King of Forma, and he is in the fourth wave of the Partners Glyph program with myself and a, and a few other lucky individuals. So go, go check him out if you want to. I'll wait. Don't worry about it. All right, <laughs> uh, but we're going to talk about the Chroma Deluxe Skin Collection, the Dynasty Collection. Uh, this collection comes with three items, as most of the collections do. You get uh, the skin for Chroma, obviously, a skin for all heavy bladed weapons, known as the Dominion Sword Skin, as well as a we melee weapon bobble. Uh, now... The third item in most deluxe skin bundles are kind of hit or miss. Um, they're not always necessarily uh, super useful, uh, but some of them are cool. Like the Trinity deluxe bundle got the uh, Kubro armor and Banshees has a sigil, which you can use on any frame, not just Banshee. So it's, you know, it's sometimes it's just a hit or miss. Sometimes they're cool, sometimes, you know, they're not. You know, people mainly focus on the on the frame skin and the weapon skin. But the weapon bobbles in this game, I, I kind of forget that they're there. Uh, um, the, the weapon bobble for this particular bundle is okay. Uh, I just, I don't use it because you can never, you don't really see it in game when, when you're playing, so I I tend to just not even worry about it, really. So it's not a plus or a minus as far as this particular bundle goes. Uh, but the Chroma skin itself is... It's all right. <laughs> I hate to be negative. Uh, but the, the skin, design-wise, is is really cool. I like it. I, I'm not a big fan of the weird... Uh, pseudo lobster tail like like <laughs> Trinity Prime had uh, the the tail is a little goofy and it clips through everything it clips through every piece of leg armor I put on it clips through 90% of the Cyandanas I put on the only Cyandana that I think it didn't clip through was the Kuva braid that I had and I, I think that was one of the only ones which I love the Kuva braid on Chroma anyways so it kind of worked out but it's uh, it clips a lot uh, and and the other thing I'm not a big fan of for the skin, honestly, is the is the texturing. Uh, everything, the whole skin looks a little too plasticky uh, for my taste. I think they need to maybe uh, just do something with the texturing of the skin to make it look a little bit less. Um, I don't know. Plasticky is really the only word I can come up with <laughs> that really accurately describes describes that. Uh, but I will say some good things. I like the overall design. Like I said, they just need to work on the texture. Uh, the wings are a piece in the utility slot, the little wings on his back. Uh, I, I don't like them. They also clip through Cyandana's like crazy. And uh, even the Kuva braid actually, um, the sides of the Kuva braid uh, clip through and it just, it looks really goofy. And I, I don't like the wings. They just look, they look like they just took pieces of plastic. Like, they look even more plasticky than the rest of the skin does. And they just, like, hot glued them to Chroma's back. I'm sorry, I know that's, that's real negative. Like I said, though, I like the overall design of Chroma. I love his, his carapace. I love his, you know, non-carapace design. The whole, the whole... <laughs> the whole skin looks really solid. Uh, it just it needs a little tweak to that texture, and I think you'd really knock this one out of the park. Now, the Dominion Sword skin is absolutely... I love it. It's it's great. Uh, there is a glitch right now with the Zenistar that if you equipped uh, the skin to the Zenistar, it actually triples the size of the weapon 
for some reason. It's completely outrageous. Uh, I'm using the war, so it's it, this is the normal size that the sword is supposed to be. It's absolutely incredible. I love... I would buy this bundle for the Dominion sword skin by itself. But here we have the uh, Chroma, obviously, with the effigy out. And we're, we're looking at uh, his his knightly uh, part of the skin. I, I love it. I, I love the ethereal wings as well uh, on the effigy when you have it up. I think that looks really cool. And uh, I think they really did knock that out of the park. Uh, but a couple of tweaks. I don't think it would be too hard for DE to manage that. I think this would be a really solid must-buy bundle. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been your host of the most, as always, Francois878, signing off.